welcome back to the channel guys today we're going to be installing a carbon fiber spoiler on the e93 m3 so i'm excited to show you guys what it looks like and a couple of highlights of the install process Pretty darn close, actually. These holes. What about the other ones? The other ones I can't see because they didn't go deep enough yet. So I gotta go deeper on the other ones. The ones in front? Yeah, the, these ones here, because they're double walled. All right, so here's where we are in the install process. We have the brackets installed right over here that hold the wing in place. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys over here how it's bolted on for the E93 trunk, because it's different from the E92 and the E90. I had to remove the trunk liner, I had to move these wires out of the way, and I had to drill a hole to get through that double wall. So now all that's left to do is attach the wing. But before I do that, there's a little bit of a rattle inside, I don't know if you hear it. There's something rattling in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove one of the side wings and then drill a hole and try to get it out through that way. Ooh. Weight savings. <laughs> Drilling holes will save you weight, I think. So that's what the inside of carbon fiber looks like. Let's see if we can shake off whatever's in, whatever's in there and make it come through our our little hole that we made. It looks bigger than the other hole. Yeah. And here we go. Oh, there you go. Something came out. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a piece of plastic or something. Oh, more stuff's coming out. the rattle issue. I don't hear anything that's rattling in there anymore. We just pretty much shook it out of the hole that I made. Uh, now we need to mount this spoiler onto Are the Are you going to drill the thing back? Well, I'm going to put that later when I have it on. Oh, okay. uh, So, let's put this on. One thing I will tell you is this is a pretty good quality product. For it being the cheapest Amazon carbon fiber spoiler I can find, <laughs> it's actually good quality and it feels really light. Like, this is probably less than 10 pounds. So I'm gonna place it into the brackets, line up the holes. <clears throat> Took a lot of trial and error and a lot of measuring to get the correct uh, angles and having to find the midline and all that. So I didn't film all that boring stuff for you. This is more the fun part, just mounting it on. Line up your bolts. These uh, nuts here, are, they also have some kind of a rubber inside them so that they also don't come loose over time with vibration. You don't want your wing flying off into the next car behind you while you're driving in the highway. So tell me what you think guys in the comments below. Is this rice or nice? You leave it like that. Okay, so both winglets on the side are installed and everything is ready to go. Uh, let's go ahead and open the trunk and then shut it down slightly and see how wobbly this thing is. All right. It's actually pretty sturdy. Um, compared to our Type R replica wing on the Honda Civic, as when you would shut it, it would go whoa, whoa, whoa. it would really <laughs> wobble like the whole entire world and flubber reverse and then we'd be like, like oh. jello. This one's actually 
pretty sturdy. You can eat your lunch on here. Oh, it can be an extra table, and then you got a little extra table in the bottom. Oh, the God. main thing here is it's pretty dang sturdy, but we will find out on the freeway. Uh, we'll show some footage of how it looks on the freeway. I'm excited to see what it looks like with the top down too. But... Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in doing this to your car, and I don't, I don't blame you if you don't want to. It's pretty scary to drill into your trunk. Uh, the main thing is just here's the attachment points. You've got a couple of screws here to hold it to the wing, a couple of screws here to adjust the angle of the bracket. We've got screws down here from Home Depot to hold the wing into place. So I'm going to probably dive around a little bit with the trunk liner off. If everything is nice and smooth and there's no issues that I see, I'm going to put the trunk liner back on because it does look a little weird without it. <laughs> Look at that wing sticking out. 